Hey, Bass Geek here, and I'm about to show you what I spent my money on at the Knoxville Expo. What's going on, geeks? Hey, man, I tell you, I had a, such a great time. I know if you haven't seen the Knoxville Expo where I showed some of the other products, some that I already have, Make sure you go check that out because we shout out a bunch of you geeks. It's why I love to do these shows because I get to meet so many of you. You know, I love to take pictures with you, sign autographs, and give you free Bass Geek stickers. Can't beat that. What I want to show you is what I actually spent my money on down at the Knoxville Expo. And I picked up some really cool goodies. I didn't get to browse maybe as much as I would have liked. But I did get to cover it a little bit. Again, shout out to Camus, shout out to Bunch Marine for putting on this show, and shout out to both of those companies for allowing me to work in their booth. That's why I was so busy and didn't get to walk around as much as I wanted. Now, I did leave early Sunday too, which was a bummer because I ended up having COVID. So, you know, I started feeling kind of weird. I decided I was going to go ahead and leave at about one or two o'clock. And, uh, you know, had a little bit of a drive. It ain't too bad. It's like two, three hours, I think. So, you know, I just wanted to get back. By the time I got back, I had the shivers, the chills. But anyway, you guys don't want to hear about that. I'm better. Everything's good. Let's talk about what I got in Knoxville. So, Boat Effects was up there. Guys, you know I love my steps. You know I love everything about what Boat Effects does. It's made right here in the USA. Machined. These guys are incredible. They're geniuses. I mean, they can they can do anything. So the very first thing I got is some more of those graph locks. I got me two two packs. I'll end up having to get two more because I want to put these on uh, both the front and the back graphs. And just to give you a clue as to the boat, we are getting four graphs on it, two up front and two in the back. I got me some of the graph cover locks. So these will lock down my covers. I've got to get me two more of those. And I got me, I got me the motor locks right here. So this is going to keep my motor in place. And, you know, I did get a Merc, of course. So it's made for Merc. You can't get them for Yamahas. If you call them, they could probably make them for about anything you want. What I love about it is it's single machined aluminum. Really heavy, man, for aluminum. This thing, I could probably crack somebody over the head and kill them pretty easily with it. So do some curls. Got to get in fishing shape. You know what I'm saying? So got me one of those. So thanks, Boat Effects. I appreciate those guys, man. They're awesome. And by the way, Bass Geek 5 will get you a discount. All right? So use that discount. It does help the channel out with them. But uh, went ahead and picked these up. So I can't wait to get these on the new boat. We're going to trick the new boat out with some stuff as we get it. Now, one thing about the Knoxville show is there are hundreds of custom hard baits, painted, custom carved. I mean, true artists. So I'm going to save some of that though to the last, okay? I'm going to save that to the last. Baitworks was there. So if you guys didn't see, I got to meet Luke Duncan. Hey, Luke knew me by my first name, man. That was pretty daggone cool. You know what I'm saying? For Luke Duncan to know who you are, I feel like that's pretty impressive, right? Because I ain't nobody. I mean, that's Luke Duncan. I'm just me, right? I'm just Hank. That's that. I was pretty happy about that. But now, all that being said, I went into Baitworks, and man, they had some stuff I was dying to get my hands on, and at some killer deals. And that's the other thing. You can go to these expos, and sometimes there'll be these tackle shops, and they're going to have killer deals there. Baitworks had some of the best, let me tell you. So one of the first things I want to show you is this right here. I've been you know, gearing up, getting ready to fish the BFLs. And one of the things I didn't have was a good working scale. I've seen a lot of people use these. I've heard a lot of good things about them. 
They come with the colon clips and everything. So I'm pretty jacked up to get these, man. I think they had these like 20 or 30% off. So I just went ahead and bought one. Hey, you guys tell me if, you know, you know or have used these and what you think about them. Maybe some of the pros and cons of them down in the description. Can't wait to get out there and, you know, I don't know if I'm good enough to cull, but we'll see, right? I mean, it may be an investment that just rides around with me. All right, so I also picked up some of these because these are pretty much the two colors that I throw all the time when it comes to the mag draft. Good size. I don't really care much about the mag draft as far as like the pre-weighted. I like to go ahead and pair these with like a ledge head. That way I can weight them and get them pretty much down as deep as I want to get them. Two great natural colors right here. I picked these up and they had a heck of a deal. These were the six inch. These are the freestyles. This is the MB Gizzard Shad, but it's got a little bit of pink. I don't know if that's showing up on your all's end. Could easily be, you know, thought of as say a, you know, a trout-esque color. And this, of course, I mean, you know, they call this the white back shad but it looks a whole lot like a good old ghost shad to me. I like this color. You know, it's got a little bit of blue to it too, which is real good because a lot of the shad in the lakes that I have have a little bit of a blue hue to them. I also picked up some of the burrito baits from Bull Shad. This is the six inch. I'm guessing this is medium sink. You know, good looking bait right there. I don't know what color this is. This is the Hoodat. Now, this is the other one I picked up, a good old crappy or crappie, depending on what portion of the country you're in. Could be a crappy bait. Who knows? I don't know. I haven't fished it yet. You guys can tell me if you've tried these out. But uh, I think this is going to be another good size, good six-inch bait when we're out there looking for the biggins, you know, on uh, a couple of these tournaments that are coming up. I did go ahead and pick me up some heavier size in the Queen's tackle live sonar so the three quarters and the half ounce size big time things right there that will probably go into play in the upcoming tournaments this was all man like all this like i, I picked up a bunch of stuff from baitworks they had some of the stuff that i was looking for for tournament season you know so i just decided hey man it's on sale so why not buy it now i'm going to show you some of the custom stuff that's coming up but this right here this right here is a biggie. I'm super jacked about these. I can't believe they had them. I told them they had to take them down after I bought them because I didn't want anybody seeing them. Something that I haven't talked to you guys about, but these are the Mega Bass Big M 7.5. Guys, these things will dive to 30 feet deep. And, you know, just like Mega Bass does, man, everything that they do, it is beautiful. And look at that color. You know, the translucent, got a little bit of purple to it, a little bit of sartreuse to it. I mean, you talk about a big, beautiful bait. That's one of them right there. So this last one was a sexy French pearl. This is the Waganhasu BM. And this is just a cool looking color. I think it just breaks up real well. Good looking color for say, you know, a little bit of an overcast day. You know, got that green back, a little bit of that broken up stripe side. Great color right here. I mean, an absolutely great color in the 7.5. Wish they would have had a red one. I didn't see a red one. So this was the one that I, I got. This is just a green crawl, man. And it's a flat color. So look at that. No real shine to it. Man, on clear natural water, you talk about getting that down there and really just slowly rolling it through some shell beds or some rock out there on those deeper ledges. That is going to be a monster. Last but not least in one of my favorite lakes in the world, this color. And you, if you watched uh, some of the tournaments that me and AJ fished, big shout out to AJ, by the way the grub master if you all haven't seen it you need to this was one of the colors that uh, caught a bunch of uh, bass for us in uh, uh, in a little pocket but this is a great color and it's kind of that sartreuse with powder blue back they call this the blue back sartreuse so great color and that's pretty much what i got from baitworks i want to say thanks to those guys you know we've been kind of talking to those guys a little bit so we, we might have some cool future plans for you know us and baitworks man there's some really cool people 
that are working really hard to grow. So go check them out online. Again, guys, links for all this stuff will be in the description below. So then I run by and noticed my company, Nico, man, had to gear back up on some of their stuff. Nico Bates makes some killer stuff. It's, I don't think it's Elastec, but it's Elastec like, so it's, you know, really stretchy, really durable stuff. So I want to talk to you about some of the stuff that I got from them. And man, one of my favorite, I'm telling you, <sighs> I'm telling you guys, I'm kind of giving away some of the stuff that, you know, that I've kind of been using and playing with over the past few years. And I've not really been talking about a whole lot. This is one of them for me. Now I know my buddies, Burly, they love them. They talk about them all the time. They're fish catching machines, but they've come out with a new size, which speaking of which, a little bigger size, and I am super stoked about that. And this is the Helgramite. Now this is the 4.25 inch. Check out that monster Helgramite. Man, you can put that on a shaky head or put it on like a, a bigger Ned rig or a smaller sort of jig head. That thing is awesome. This is the natural and we've got a killer color right here. This is magma. Man, I love that red. And then last but not least, I got the, and I, I don't know how to say this name, Obsidian. So really dark color there. Great looking colors. Um, you know, basically a black right there. Great looking colors in the big ones. The small ones, man, are I mean, you put them on a Ned and they're just they're just dead. They're deadly. Deadly. And this is, I love this. This is limited in the three inch. And this is the magma. Check that bad boy out. I had to pick some of those up and give them moral. Of course, I got some of the naturals. Great looking color there. We got some of the green pumpkins. Had to pick some of those up. This is the brown gold flake. Super natural color right there. This is the mud bug. A little bit of a darker brown. Got some black flake in it. Great looking color there. And last but not least, gotta have watermelon red flake. That's one of my favorite colors to throw. Uh, especially around smallmouth or around the time that the uh, panfish are up bedding. Great colors there. We also picked up, man, these things are crazy. These are called the Super Ned, the Zaza Super Ned. And this first color, man, just right off the bat, you want to talk about, it's, it's almost like a core shot, but it's called Lunar. Check that out. I mean, if that don't get just eat. I don't know what, what will. That is incredible. This is fusion. And this color reminds me of that kind of green pumpkin magic is what that color reminds me of. The eclipse, got that red, orangish red tail on it. Good looking color there. Got the obsidian, obsidian again. Again, I don't know how to say that. I'm a country boy, forgive me. But you know, really close to like a black. And you can never go wrong with good old green pumpkin. A couple of things that, guys, if you all are not throwing these, you really need to be. So I picked me up, these are the 3.7. These are the Winnows, and I think that is in a green pumpkin. No, it's in Fusion, so a good looking color. This color right here is amazing. This is truly an amazing color. This is Lunar. Look at that. That is a killer color right there. And so that is what I got from Nico. I mean, they got some great things, some really great products out there. They've got some, the leech, just a, a ton of killer stuff. Their crawls, I've got some of their crawls. They're awesome. The Neds right now, I, I can't wait between them and the Helgramites. I can't wait to get out there and throw some of these. So now I want to show you some of these custom handmade crankbaits that I picked up. And guys, there's all kinds of stuff that's handmade at this show. I mean, this show is incredible for the paint jobs these guys do for the crankbaits these people make. It's outstanding. And there's a ton of custom plastic makers there too. So that's why I love these shows. You got a color you want somebody to make. These are the people you go to to get the custom colors that nobody else is throwing. So I wanna to talk to you first about some baits from Jawjacker that I got. And check these bad boys out. 
Now, I don't know the colors of them, but that's, you know, kind of your standard spring crawl, red crawl. Good looking color there. A little bit of red, a little bit of sartreuse in it. And then, you know, I got to pick up some of my flat sides. Great looking um, shad pattern right there. Picked up one a little bit smaller. Look at that, how it transitions from that uh, silver to a green on the back. A couple different sizes there. This was an extremely unique color pattern. It's almost like it's got, you know, gold leaf or foil inside of the paint job. So I really wanted to pick one of those up. A little bit of, you know, a good square bill, man. So I wanted to try that. And then, of course, got me another smaller version. Look how small that is. That is tiny. Good little bait right there that I'm sure is going to catch us some big bass. So next up, this is big cedar baits. These baits, like these baits are made out of pretty much balsa wood traditionally. Well, these are made out of cedar. So, you know, a little different wood. They are big cedar baits. And this is a green perch, a little bit of a square bill, green perch bait. This is liquid crawl. Maybe that says liquid D crawl. I'm not sure. We're gonna call it liquid crawl. Good looking red color, gotta have one. And an even little bit darker red crawl right here. This is the chili crawl. Another good looking color. All of them are square bills. So they're gonna get down there and beat and dig around but good looking baits, especially for this time of year. Now, to get into a little bit of a deeper bait, of course, Fox Customs was there and I had to pick up some of their blade baits. So this color right here is not black, even though it's labeled black. So I don't know what color this is, but it's more of a kind of a purple, but uh, you know, obviously they box that wrong. It's, it's in a black, but look at that, man. Check that out. And I hadn't even, you know, I hadn't even noticed, but look at the, the orange on the throat of that. Great looking color right there. Uh, it absolutely is not black, but it is a purple. And didn't have that color and didn't have this color, which I'm happy that they had. This is bone. So they're a half ounce. It's bone blue flash. So yeah, it's, I can see it's got like a little pearlescent blue glimmer to it. So yeah, that's gonna be a killer. I know that's going with me to the first tournament. Great looking little color right there. Half ounce, both those in half ounce. And then we got to pick up some big baits, right? So this is one of the few things from Bull Shad that I didn't have and I wanted to pick up. And this is the bullgill. So I'm super excited about that. And I love that right there. Look at that. That is going to give us a really quick retrieve. That is impressive. But great looking paint jobs. You know, I know he's got uh, a couple people painting for him now and they're doing a tremendous job. Uh, that is just a beautiful color. And right behind it, we've got the Bull Glide. Look at that bad boy. I think that was Gizzard Shad. Let's see if I got colors on here. Don't know that I do but I think that was a gizzard shad color and look at that bad boy. Such a good looking glide. And you can kind of see the difference, you know. That right there is gonna be a really kind of jerky retrieve. This is gonna be the wide glide. Can't wait, cannot wait to throw this bad boy when those uh, bluegill are up on the beds. Tournament number two, you might see these. I've got enough big swim baits now that I really need to wait to store them and I hate putting them in just an open box even though you know I love my my flambeau stuff it keeps the hooks from rusting and everything so there was somebody there that I absolutely wanted to pick up and I think it's great because I can put these in this and just toss them in the boat so I'll have exactly the ones I want and that was the people from Raptor so what I love about these things and I got two different sizes because you know some of my swim baits are bigger some of my swim baits you know some of these these swim baits this big 
you know, and I've got some of the nine and 10 inch swim baits too, but I'll just show you one of these, kind of how they work if you've not seen them. They make them for all different sizes of baits, for, for jerk baits, for the whole nine yards. And they also have the holes you can actually hang them. So, you know, you could hang these on your wall and then be able to place them in. But I feel like these are gonna keep me from like beating these awesome paint jobs up. And you know, I've got a couple from uh, KGB too. So basically what you do is you just put them in right here. And you know, they roll up. You can probably put both of these in, in this one you know, kind of work them together. Not gonna beat it up too bad. I will show you the other one. But these are for the bigger ones. And what I love about it again, you just roll it up and the Velcro just sticks it together. So I take these out. I feel like it's gonna protect those, those custom paint jobs a little bit better. And I just put them in the boat. You know, take what I want. That's something that I'm a, I'm a big, big fan of. And this is kind of, well, okay, now I got two of them. I thought I got one that was maybe divided, but I just went ahead and got me two. I think these are a little bit smaller down here, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm stoked about this. And, and you know, open boxes, they just slide and beat around so much. I think it beats on the uh, paint jobs and beats them up a little bit, but Raptor. And that was it, man, from Knoxville. That is what I got. So you guys tell me kind of what was your favorite? Tell me if you've used any of this stuff. You know, I, like I said, I'm, I'm really jacked up about trying this. I can't wait for it. Uh, there's a very special retrieve on that that maybe we'll talk about in future videos. But this is what I spent my actual money on. I paid for all this stuff. And uh, you know, so far the wife hasn't killed me but I'd say it's getting close because I still got two more shows to go to. I love the support from the channel. I swear we're gonna get back into some hardcore fishing stuff. This is just kind of the, the you know, first of the year, February, you know, when when it's all kind of fluff and, you know, you're, you're going through your gear and reorganizing things and getting ready for March. So as we get into March, you know, we're gonna be putting out a lot more videos, you know, probably toward the middle uh a, an end of march a lot more of the hardcore fishing and fishing tips that you guys like so much but so far man you you guys have really been stoked about the equipment and the unboxings and that sort of stuff that we've been buying so i appreciate you watching 100 percent watch squad i love you guys i appreciate you guys everybody that's been donating to the channel i appreciate you guys that is awesome it is helping so much especially at the beginning of the year uh, with these tournaments going on. You guys sponsoring the channel is, that's my favorite thing, man. It's your channel, you guys supporting, you guys doing things. We take that money and put it right back in the channel. I don't spend it on this stuff. We will put some of that money definitely back into the giveaways, of course. Being able to get out here on these tournaments, making sure you guys sponsor them. And I know we're behind on the Bass Geek boxes, but we're going to have two in a row and we will show sponsors for both of those boxes. So stay tuned. I don't know if you'll see them before or after this, but I hope you like them. But all that being said, questions, comments in the comment section below. You guys know I love to talk about fishing with you. Tell me if you've used any of this stuff. Tell me any of your secrets to help me catch fish on any of this stuff, because I'll, I'll take all the help I can get too from you guys. As always, like it if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell so that you get the notifications when these videos come out. As always, 100% Watch Squad, best way to support the channel, and you guys rock.